from a rivalry that almost killed the two drivers in 2021 to the Dutchman wanting Mercedes to become as fast as Red Bull, let's talk about whether Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton are still beefing. But first, we're going to have to travel back to 2021. That season had it all. The 2022 season was a little predictable and boring, and the 2023 season is even more predictable. But man oh man, 2021 was a sporting spectacle. Before anything else though, let me tell you, Lewis Hamilton dominated the sport from 2014 to 2020, except in 2016 when he lost to his teammate Nico Rosberg. So the entire Max versus Lewis dynamic didn't exist for a long time. As of June 2023, Max is 25 years old and Hamilton is a whopping 38 years old, so folks never thought that the two would be bitter rivals. On top of that, Red Bull just couldn't make a good car. Like yeah, they made a decent car, but decent enough to catch Mercedes? Nope. That all changed in 2021, when Red Bull finally caught up to Mercedes. What did that mean for Formula One? It meant that we got the best darn season, with crashes, clashes, and harsh words thrown around. The season started out with Lewis Hamilton taking Bahrain, Max took Emilia Romagna, then Hamilton won Portugal and Spain, with Max returning to the top step of the podium in Monaco. You get the picture. All in all, there were 22 races, with only four of them going to drivers other than these two. And folks, believe me when I tell you, their rivalry got dirty. Remember the crashes I mentioned? Yeah, we had a lot of them. For example, at Silverstone, Hamilton collided with the Dutchman while trying to stop him from getting an outside edge. Max was sent flying off into the barriers, and he couldn't finish the race. Red Bull, of course, blamed Hamilton. The FIA, too, blamed Hamilton. Yet, they only gave him a 10-second time penalty. With Max out of the picture and Lewis behind the wheel, the 10-second penalty didn't mean much, and the seven-time world champion still went on to win the race. But just because Hamilton's a sinner doesn't mean Verstappen's a saint, because a little less than two months after, he returned the favor. Y'all remember Daniel Ricciardo's iconic win at Monza? The one that led to Zac Brown getting a tattoo? Yeah, that only happened because the two alphas of the sport crashed into each other. Trying to pass Hamilton in the turn the one chicane, Verstappen hit his car and ended up on top of the Mercedes driver. The good thing was that both drivers walked away without any injuries. The upsetting thing, for Max, was he walked away with a penalty. And then, during the second last race of the season, the pair crashed again. At the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, the Red Bull driver ran Lewis off the track, and that's when Lewis told his team, that guy is fucking crazy, man. Max was then told by his crew to let Hamilton pass so that he wouldn't get a penalty. The Mercedes driver, on the other hand, had no idea what was going on. So when Max slowed down, instead of passing him, Lewis was just taken by surprise, and he plowed his car into the back of the Red Bull, damaging his front wing. Verstappen said that he didn't understand why Hamilton didn't just pass him, and Hamilton said that he had no idea that Max had hit the brakes. The incident was investigated by the stewards, and Verstappen was the one found guilty. He was given a 10-second penalty and two penalty points on his license. And then with just one race remaining, everything became super, super intense. Two of the best drivers in the world were now both tied at 369.5 points. Hamilton was eyeing an eighth world championship, aiming to beat Schumacher's record, and Verstappen was eyeing his first ever championship. The stakes couldn't be higher. After qualifying, Verstappen took pole, Lewis took P2, and Lando Norris sat in P3. Yikes, looks like Max was gonna win this thing. Well, not really. Lewis had a stellar start and he powered past Verstappen, taking P1. There was a lot that happened in the race, but I'll gloss over that to get to the good part. The safety car changed everything. Nicholas Latifi crashed at turn 14, triggering the safety car. This reduced Hamilton's 13-second lead over Max, but with five lapped cars between the two, Lewis was safe. The Red Bull driver was on a fresh set of soft tires, while Hamilton was on old hards. However, the gap between them was enough for Max's pace advantage to not work out in his favor. But then something happened. The lapped cars were told to unlap themselves after they were told to not unlap themselves just a couple of laps ago. Now, the distance between the two wasn't all that much and Max was on faster, newer tires. He then quite easily overtook Lewis Hamilton, winning the race and becoming the world champion. A sour end to a legendary season and a rivalry that might as well be the best in sporting history. The reason why I'm calling it the end for now is because after that, 
Mercedes messed up big time. So this rivalry between the two peaked in 2021 and folks expected things to get worse in 2022. But let's not forget, this was the year when we had new regulations. Red Bull made a great car based on the new rules and Mercedes, well, Mercedes made a tractor. So the beef between the two faded as Max was constantly winning and Lewis was constantly doing terribly. Over time, however, the Mercedes W13 did get stronger. And by Brazil 2022, it was strong enough to challenge for a win, and the rivalry was reignited. You see, in Sao Paulo, Max took the high line into turn one. But as Hamilton and Verstappen got close to the apex, the Dutchman was running out of room, and the two crashed. Lewis got minor floor damage and was able to make it all the way to P2, whereas Max took damage to the front wing and had to pit for a new one. Okay, here's what you need to know. Brazil 2022 was the only race of the season where the Mercedes driver had a chance of winning. Cause this guy has won at least one race in every F1 season he's been in. Except for the 2022 season. So he didn't want that record to go away. He really badly needed this win, and his fans claim that Max took it from him on purpose. And I get that Team LH44 can get a little aggressive when it comes to defending the guy, but you can't blame them for thinking this way, can you now? Just listen to what Max said. It cost him the race win. For me, it gave me five seconds. It wouldn't have mattered anything for my race because we were just way too slow. But it's just a shame. I thought we could race quite well together, but clearly the intention was not there to race. Lewis, on the other hand, simply stated, well, you know how it is with Max. And the thing is, this beef wasn't just between these two. Other folks got involved too. Joss Verstappen, Verstappen's dad, stated that he respects Hamilton as a driver, but other than that, he's got no respect for the Briton. Even Max's girlfriend's dad, a three-time world champion, can't stop talking about how much he hates Lewis. In fact, he even called him the N-word in Portuguese during a podcast. So this beef between the two really did get crazy at its peak. And ever since Mercedes lost its competitiveness, the rivalry has simmered too. But Max misses it all, so we all already know how the 2023 campaign is going to play out, right? I mean, seven races have gone by and Red Bull has won all of them, so far, and Max has won five of them. In other words, these folks are unstoppable. But the 25-year-old misses the competition. He stated that it would be amazing if Mercedes could find its way back to the top. Max even wants them to fight for wins by the end of the season, and he hopes that other teams join the mix in 2024 too. Maybe, just maybe, he'll get what he wants. Cause Mercedes did just jump ahead of Aston Martin in the Constructors' Championship with that Spain double podium. And Aston Martin also has quite a few performance upgrades planned. Be careful what you wish for, Max, cause it seems that the beef is going to be reignited all over again, albeit a little later in the season. Well, there you have it. From the Dutchman willingly wanting Mercedes to get as fast as Red Bull, to a rivalry that almost killed the two drivers in 2021, this was everything on whether Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton are still beefing. 